today we're going to do a rapid rundown of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine's new clinical practice guideline published last month on the treatment of restless leg syndrome and periodic limb movement disorder. So we'll just touch on some of the big recommendations that we saw in this guideline, starting with for patients with clinically significant RLS, it is recommended for regularly obtaining serum iron studies that include a serum ferritin and transparent saturation. And keeping in mind that the blood samples drawn should be collected in the morning and patients should be reminded to avoid all iron containing supplements and foods for at least 24 hours before the lab draw to ensure that you can accurately assess if an IV or PO iron supplement might be needed. So for patients with RLS, iron supplementation should be provided either PO or IV if they have serum ferritin levels that are equal to or less than 75 nanograms per milliliter or a transparent saturation of less than 20%. However, if serum ferritin is between 75 to 100 nanograms per milliliter, supplemental iron should be given via IV only. But keep in mind, these recommendations are for adult patients with RLS, and they do not apply to the general patient population. So now for adults with RLS who have an appropriate iron status, it's suggested or recommended to use treatment with either IV ferret carboxymaltose, IV low-weight molecular iron dextrin, IV ferroxamoxitol, or ferrosulfate. Now for adults with RLS who also have end-stage renal disease, treatment is suggested to be gabapentin, IV RN sucrose in patients who have a ferritin of less than 200 nanograms per milliliter and a transferrin saturation of less than 20%, and vitamin C. However, for patients with RLS and ESRD, it's suggested against the use of standard-use ritobutene and standard-use levodopa. Now shifting to adult patients with periodic limb movement disorder, now there is a recommendation that suggests against the use of valproic acid or triacylate. And our last big highlight is for children with RLS, it is suggested for the use of ferrous sulfate in patients who have an appropriate iron status.